to people who look at this, we've heard a lot about cutting people up into groups, uh, which on this program we've discussed the limitations of that. But on the one hand, uh, it is white men uh, who are skeptical of Kamala Harris. Uh, it is white and Latino men that are breaking towards Trump. Um, I know what the question is. Country. Continue. <laughs> continue. Should I continue? I or you, go, you, you can go ahead. If you got the gist of it, go ahead. Well, it's sad but true. Some of my brothers have been drinking that Kool-Aid. And I just hope that they get their minds straight, get their minds right in time for this election. If they're conscious, if they're aware, there's no nothing that this other guy can do that's going to put us, not just black folks, but Americans in a better position going forward. So I urge, and, and I got to give credit to President Obama because he's been he's been going really hard in on the brothers. Some might think too hard, but I don't think so. We got we got to wake up. You know, and don't go for the okie doke, the flim flam. Can't do that. Mm. We got to support our sister to be become the first woman president of the United States of America and the first sister. And then for this guy to say she's not black. Has he ever heard of Howard University? <laughs> HU? AKA? Those two get you in right away already, you know. How an AKA sorority, so uh, it's it's uh, I know I'm laughing, you know, some smiles, some jokes, but it's, it's serious business, you know, it's serious business. I don't want to, you know, make light of where we are this last couple of how many days is it to uh, election 15? 15. 15. Two weeks and a day, as I said before, we got to move forward and not backwards. <laughs> Can someone help me understand what the heck is wrong with Spike Lee? Not only just what he looks like, not only just because what he's saying, but because none of this makes any sense. What is, what a child, shout out to Grape Tea News. Old niggas got to go. Old niggas got to go. And I'm old. Old niggas got to go. Child, I don't understand. The crash out is real. They are totally giving up their whole credibility over somebody that ain't even what they say in this what she is still so because she went to howard university that makes her black so somebody anybody bueller anybody go to howard do they not allow white people in there do they not allow hispanics in there are the only people that are allowed in there black so just because she went to that school that makes her black like what kind of ignorant ass statement is that to make? They are really crashing out right now because this woman is going to lose. Now, I know enough of you idiots will think that it's my fault that Cam Cam is going to lose and completely ignore how she continues to this moment on October the 25th that she will not answer a damn question. Y'all don't even care about none of that. Y'all so worried about this daggone symbolism that you are allowing her to just say Trump. Really, what black people are doing, allegedly, in my opinion, is not voting for Kamala. They are voting against Donald Trump because you're so scared. Because, like I said before, you're so pussy. Because you're so worried about something that doesn't make any sense. You ain't listening to no policies. You're not listening to the direction on what where they want to take the country. You're not listening to what they're saying about the milk is bad or the eggs are high. The milk is high. None of that. Gas prices, uh, the wars, the money going out, the migrant situation, the homelessness. None of that matters. She went to a HBCU and that's all that matters. She's black and that's all that matters. And black men need to get it together yet again. Ninjas, you are on their mind. You got to get it together. You got to get your mind right. You are the problem. He don't understand what y'all thinking. Charlemagne don't understand what y'all thinking. Magic don't understand what y'all thinking. Angela Wright don't understand what y'all thinking. Nobody understands what you ninjas are thinking. When did it become a requirement in the community that we had to check off with anybody about anything? I want someone to point out to me in the Four Dummies book where it says that every black person got to cover off with those idiots that I just named before they make a decision. 
these would be the same people talking about slavery and how white supremacy and everything else is holding black people down while they sit up here and try to hold black people down. Help me understand this hypocrisy because it's getting worse and worse and worse. However, what I will say is everybody need to be paying attention. Those of us that can think outside of this stupid ass little box that they are in, that they want to crash out over a person who's allegedly black instead of thinking and listening to people who are actually black. Remember these people later on, once the dust settles and she does lose and things are going whatever direction they go into next, because every little thing that happens when Trump becomes president, because at this point, the odds are he's going to be elected. And that's not because of black men. It's because of people like the aforementioned people like Spike Lee, who want to get out here and command and demand Obama command and demand. Well, what's her name? Angela Rye, command and demand. Y'all are the most overbearing, ignorant ass, bully ass people I've ever seen in life. These are the worst right here. And when the dust settles and you find that the community, the community, the black culture is left worse off than what it was before this mess, you can blame every single one of those people. D.L. Hughley, Steve Harvey, Roland all of them for their horrible rhetoric for their taking down of their own people that they want the help from and let and yet they continue to chastise them talk down to them talk negatively about them and then think that somebody is going to do something for you or change their mind to the way that you want something done and you think maybe this is the slavery is a problem right here where y'all think that you are the slave masters. Y'all think y'all are massa at the end of the day and that you can tell every other black person what to do. I'm trying to understand where y'all got this audacity at and why is it that you don't understand that what you're doing is going against exactly what it is that you're looking for. You won't even take a step back because you're so blinded. This is absolute and utter blindness because you can only see the one thing that you see and you don't even see how it is that you are hurting your own interest at the end of the day. Do black people know about kindness? Do black people know about working together? Do black people know how to approach a problem with a solution and not a command and a demand. This is the epitome of why the community has the problems that it does. They're always trying to think they're going to tell somebody what to do. It just don't work that way. Hard lesson to learn. Cam, Cam, you can blame all these people that you had out here talking for you. All these people out here that thought they had a hold of the black community. All these people that think they're the gatekeepers when all they all need to do is go sit the hell down somewhere and let these younger people come on in here and do whatever the hell it is that they're going to do. Because the whole point of most of this, in my opinion still, is that they totally missing the younger people. First of all, they not going to listen. Second of all, the rest of us who got common sense ain't going to listen because you don't run nothing around here. All these millionaires, all these people with all this money that's telling everyone else that you can't make it because of white supremacy, racism. They started this out with racism. They started this out with racism, if you recall. It's racist. Everything is racist. Donald Trump is racist, 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 racist. Now it's about Cam Cam and people talking about whether she black or not. And it's still Donald Trump. And then, I'm sorry, then it went to Project 2025. And now it's everybody's beating up on Kamala. Well, Kamala shouldn't have been put in the daggone position if she couldn't handle it in the damn hot ass kitchen because she does not get special treatment just because she a woman, just because y'all want to try to make her black. You cannot put the daggone square into the whole peg. That's not how it works. Y'all shoved her up in here. And now this is your result. Because you rushed to do shit because you're being reactive because no one thought this shit through because y'all thought Joe Biden was going to make it. He didn't. It's Democrats fault and it's all these black shrills fault and not black men's fault because they won't vote for her because there's a plenty amount of other men that ain't going to vote for her either. And plenty of us women as well. That's it. That's all. Like this daggone video. Make sure you comment, subscribe. If you are new, I see you all in the next one. Cause y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. We do not care.